As of late, we've been seeing a bunch of manufacturers switch over their filament spools from plastic injection molded spools to these cardboard ones. And some people have some concerns as to whether or not these are going to cause problems. So, I've been printing with them for a little bit now. And for the most part, there's really no downside when just printing. But there are other things that people are concerned about, like this being PETG. Will the cardboard hold up in a dehydrator or an oven without degrading so that you can remove moisture from the filament, for instance? The main concern people have is the fact that this cardboard is just thin pieces that are glued on top of each other, not really all that much unlike our own 3D prints. So when we dehydrate this spool, will the glue that binds these pieces of cardboard together just fall apart? Well, let's try it out and see. So what we got here is a food dehydrator. We're not going to use the oven, but uh, these are pretty cheap. It's what I use to dehydrate my filament. And we're going to keep this in here for about 12 hours and see if the cardboard holds up just fine or if we have problems. It's been almost 12 hours at this point in this dehydrator. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off and see how the spool held up. Let's take a good look. I don't see any separation. In fact, it feels as good as it did when it came out of the package. So I don't think that these spools are going to be a problem, at least not in a normal dehydrator. The cardboard is hot, but it's not deformed in any way. Seems pretty good. I think Overture did their homework with this one, guys. I think this uh, will do just fine.